This is a basic cast, taking line off the water, letting it unroll behind you, and putting it back down. It's the technique you'll use to present wet flies and streamers when you're fishing downstream. Let's look at the back cast. And in order to do that, I want you to be aware of the connection between the fly line, which is very visible, and the leader, which is not. And the leader has no weight. We have yarn on the end for a fly. So when we do a pickup, we want to pick up the line to that leader connection in what we call a loading move, starting with the rod tip next to the water. Lift the line to the leader connection and power snap the leader and fly out. And I'm snapping my finger because I stop my backward stroke exactly as that fly leaves the water. Lift the line out with the fly. You must start with the rod tip down so you get everything in place. And you pick it up sweetly with that loading move, not ripping it off with just a power snap. Pick it up inch by inch, but with speed, and you'll see it. If you pick it up with a power snap, then you will rip the water and scare every fish within half a mile. So rod tip down, relax your arm, and now look at my arm. The rod is against it, parallel. We lift it sweetly and swiftly to that leader connection in what we would call a loading move. Lift, snap. Watch my arm now. The rod is, is parallel to my arm, my wrist is bent down, and I lift that as a unit all the way to that leader connection. Then power snap the leader and fly out, and as we end that stroke, the rod will have changed its position to 45 degrees from the arm with a straight wrist, and my path was up to my forehead. Lift line, snap fly. Lift, snap, and dead stop it. And you don't need another quarter of an inch beyond getting that fly out of the water. So coordinate it between your hand and your eyes. Out and stop dead. How long do you wait between the back cast stroke and the forward cast stroke? If you do a good power snap, there will be a little shock in the rod, which you'll feel right here. And when that shock dissipates, come forward and you'll have perfect timing. On the back cast, we led with the hand and finished with the elbow. And on the forward cast, we're going to lead with the elbow and finish with the hand. On the back cast, we had a long loading move, lifting the line to the leader connection and a short power snap to get the fly out. On the forward cast, we have a short loading move, just a little bit of elbow motion with the arm in its angled position, no change, until your thumb is roughly perpendicular to a target area, then power snap. Now you need to have a target area. You just can't cast and hope that this fly will land. So there's an imaginary line between your thumb and the target. And as you make the stroke, you follow along that line with the thumb. Reach perpendicular, power snap, until your thumb covers the target. And the rest is follow through. There's an imaginary line between your hand and that target area, and your thumb follows along it. And when that thumb is roughly perpendicular to it, power snap, and that will unroll the line right above the water so it all lands lightly. Now to review the basic cast, we begin the back cast with the rod tip close to the water. Lift the line sweetly to the leader connection, power snap the leader and fly out, ending as the fly leaves the water. And we wait until the shock has left the rod and then bring it forward. On the forward cast, we lead with the elbow and finish with the hand, doing our power snap at approximately 90 degrees from a target area. That forward power snap is very important. It's a pushing with the thumb and a pulling back with those bottom fingers. So it's a rotation, a very strong move with the thumb and fingers. And it's really very much like the action of a screen door handle. Let me show it to you this way. This looks like a funny contraption. A student made it for me, but it's actually a screen door handle mounted on a rod grip. And you know that when you use a screen door handle, you push with your thumb and pressure that grip, pushing and pulling back against it. And of course, the screen door doesn't move. But when you do that with a rod, push with the thumb and pull back, it moves that rod, it rotates it so that the 
grip comes back up towards your arm and is parallel. Now if we turn it over and just use it as a rod grip, you'll see what I mean. Push with the thumb, pull back with the fingers and bring it up. And this is your forward cast power snap. Push and pull. Push and pull. And with the rod, push and pull again. Push with the thumb, pull back with those fingers. And it will send your fly line zinging out there.